Hello and welcome back to another one of my tying tutorials. Um, in this particular video we're going to have a look at the tying of the foam done. Uh, a pattern that I was introduced to only last year um, by a good friend that I spent a bit of time with fishing on the rivers um, and instantly had to had to make a space in the box for a few of these. Um, they really are a nice, nice simple fly to tie and absolutely deadly in the right conditions. Um, the only thing I will say is when you're tying these, um, as the name suggests, the foam done, the, the, the fly obviously has a, a foam back to it. Um, and I did try to use various brands of brown um, close cell foam, but you do need to get some of this stuff here. I don't know if that's coming to shot there. It's the Wopsy uh, razor foam. Um, you need the 05 mil thickness and you need to cut a strip down to about two millimeters um, for the back so that's the only thing i will say for definite with this fly so we'll get to it um there's not a lot of materials involved in this fly at all thread wise i've got some uni thread um like cahill in ato um in the vice got a size 14 dry fly and that is the the majority of the size that i will tie these in 14s and 16s so we'll catch our threading just behind the eye. Touching turns. Just take a few turns back. Then we can come and take away our, our waist piece. So we're gonna add in our CDC wing first. So I've got three, three CDC plumes here. Um, tips are all aligned. And sometimes I do to give them a little snip just to even them up a little bit. So again, we want to kind of come in as the body length of the the hook's shank length, sorry. So we take our wraps rearward, and then when we come in, we want to cut that down at an angle, just to help taper that body. We'll keep working our way rearward. We'll be ready to catch in our tail. So for the tail on this fly, um, it will be a Coq de Leon. So again, kind of, there's no set rules, but you want about five to six fibres, I'd say. And again, we're going to look at the, the length of the hook shank. So we'll catch those in. A couple of turns just to make sure it's secured. Make sure we're happy with that. One thread drop rearward, just to help splay those fibres. And then we can come in and nip away a few of those, a few of those fibres. So this is now where our foam comes in, our Wopsy foam. So like I say, it is a really thin 0.5 mil um, section of foam. So I like to tape mine. I like to cut a little little V into it, just to help me catch it in at the start, so it gets caught in. Like so. Once we've got that caught in, we can then start to bring our thread up, dropping all of those fibres. And the thread is actually what forms the, the body of the fly. We want to make sure that we create a nice tapering, tapering body, which we've got there. Take a few more turns let's make sure that our fly starts on the tail so this is the only thing that you need to kind of be careful of um, and that is when we segment the fly so I've brought that tying thread up a few wraps so that will be where our first segment goes okay so we can catch it in and we'll just take two turns of our thread just to secure that then we can bring our thread forward again and as we go up, we want to make the segment slightly longer each time. So take your time with this. Another two turns. And then finally, we'll bring it back up to where we caught in our wing. And that will be our third and final segment. Coming with our scissors in. Trim away that foam. So for the thorax, uh, I'll be using a, a squirrel dub. Um, so we don't need a lot, just a slight pinch. 
don't want to dub it on too tightly. So just a few turns of that. Just help create that thorax. We'll fold our wing back. And again, we'll just take a few turns just to help set that wing. Okay. And there we have it. So all we need to do now is to whip finish our fly. So you can obviously either add the varnish to your thread or you can varnish at the end. So full turn whip. Come in and trim away. And there you have it, the foam done.